Hey babes, my name is Tamara Blair and welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, I do have a very big announcement to make. It might not be big to you guys, I don't know, but it's exciting for me. Um, I don't want to ramble too much, like I don't want to talk too much. I do have to go to work. I don't even know where my phone is. I do have to go to work, so I'm just going to make this video quick, short, and simple. So for a few months now, actually, not even for years, for years I've been considering it, but for the last couple of months, like honestly ever since Corona started and all this stuff, is when I finally started taking it seriously, I guess, and making the steps. Let me tell y'all what I'm talking about first, duh Tamara. So I've been considering opening my own online boutique. First, what I wanted to do actually was open a store, but you know, after talking to friends and talking to family, they're saying, you know, it is a drastic step to go, you know, buy or rent a spot to open a store. So I decided to take their advice and take it slow. So I am trying to open an online boutique. Um, I'm still indecisive. So first I was just gonna do, so comment down below and tell me which one you think I should do guys. So first my original idea, I was gonna do like a bikini bar and I was just gonna, I was gonna be basic because I can, I'm so basic. I can't come up with no fancy name. I was just gonna do Tamara's bikini bar and it was just gonna be all bikinis cause I love bikinis. Summer's coming up, you know, I'm Jamaican. We wanna have the hot bikinis. So um, I was just gonna, I was just gonna do a beauty bar beauty bar a bikini bar where I would just sell all bikinis but lately I've been thinking and I've been seeing all these items like um I just got my seller's permit and all this stuff so now I'm able to actually actually purchase samples and stuff from vendors and my vendor that I've been well the one I'm working with now he has such great things like he has cute clothes cute accessories cute shoes bags like he literally has it all so then it kind of like just got me thinking, do I just want to restrict myself to just bikinis or should I branch out and just try to do a little bit of everything? You know what I mean? So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Should I do like a boutique where I sell everything or should I just stick to a bikini bar? Like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, the whole purpose of this video is I've been ordering samples and all this stuff to try on. And for my friends to try on, because I also want to see it, you know, on different body types and all that stuff, different body types, different skin colors. So I've been purchasing a lot of samples and my first order just came in. Yay. Like literally I'm so, I don't, I don't know if I look excited or if I sound excited, but I'm so excited guys. Like this is something I've wanted for years, but because of like school and just other restrictions, like stuff just keeps popping up in life and like. It, I just always never did it and it's so risky. It's honestly risky opening a business So I kept on telling myself no like what if I waste my money because it is a lot of money Let me tell you it is a pretty penny to open a boutique even now just buying all these samples like I've been spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars buying samples of inventory to try out so it is a risky business so That's why I've always talked myself out of it, but now especially this year I told myself, you know, it's time to be my own boss. I'm tired of working for other people. I am tired. I don't know how to put any more emphasis on that. I'm so tired of working for other people. So I'm just gonna do what I do, invest my time and money in it. If it doesn't work out, it is what it is. If you hear a ball squeaking or you hear the noises, that is Roxy. I don't know what is her issue today, but anyway, I've been rambling for enough. So I do have my box here. I have my Lysol. I had sprayed it down when it got delivered, but I'm gonna spray it down again, just because I'm about to put it on the bed and y'all know it's Corona time. So I'm just gonna spray the box again before I put it on the bed, just in case, just in case, never know. And it's not even that big of a box. Oh, it's really heavy, which I'm surprised. I'm really surprised, girl. I'm really surprised the box is not that big because there should be, I should have got my phone. I think I left my phone out there. There should be 60 pieces in this box. So let me show y'all. Look at the size of this box. You telling me they fit 60 pieces of clothing? Like, ooh. Like you telling me they fit 60 pieces of clothing in this box and you could tell it barely fit because they wrapped it up real tight and like mushed it in here. But anyway, Let's start opening this up because let me see. 
I'm pretty sure my camera is gonna die soon because I did not charge it. I need to be a better YouTuber and start buying like backup batteries and stuff like that so I don't have to depend on my one battery because I never charge this battery. Bro, they literally like mush this in here. Like, oh my God. Like why you could, shit. I just cut one of the clothes. Why you couldn't just get a bigger box? Like, why'd you have to literally squeeze all the items in here? God damn. I don't think I wanna try on this stuff. Just because, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm trying to be super consistent on YouTube, so I've already filmed, I think, three, to, three videos today. And one of them was a try on haul. It was a pretty little thing, try active wear haul. So if you wonder where I got this from, if you watched my last video, it was from pretty little things. So, well actually, let me not say my last video because I don't know which video I'm gonna put up first. But I've been doing try on hauls all day, so I don't know if I wanna try this on for you guys, but it's just that it just came in and I felt like sharing with y'all. So I might not try them on. So I'll probably put the pictures here of how I saw it like on the models before I bought it from my vendor. And I'll just be showing you guys the stuff that I got. Look at this, they even taped the, the clothes is like taped to the box. Like, what the heck? Oh, better packaging. And this is my first time ordering from this vendor. Like I said, he was super nice online, but bro, deal with your packaging better. Like, look at this. I'm like ripping the clothes to get the damn box open, like dang. But anyway, how are y'all doing? While I get this box open, how are y'all doing with Corona? And school just started today, actually. Today is Monday and it's the first day of school. So for all you parents out there, I hope your kids stay safe because this is a crazy time. But look y'all, look how he literally mushed the stuff in there. But anyway, basically all of this is, it's not that, it's, it's 60 items, but technically it's not that many. It's probably like, 10 it's just that I got I got everything in like small medium large you know different sizes because like I said I'm gonna ask like my friends and family to try these on so I can see how they look on different body types you know so I'm already annoyed with this one I hate when I buy like stringy stuff and it's not stringed up if you know what I mean I don't know I don't know if it's just me I'm just lazy but I hate when I buy stringed up stuff and it's not stringed up so this is the first anyway the tag is pretty ugly. I don't know what is this. I'll probably take this off. I've been watching a lot of business videos, guys, because I'm so serious about this. And there's this one girl I watched. I can't remember her name, but she bought like a machine where you can make your own tag. So whatever the name of your boutique is, like how like how you order from Fashion Nova and the tag says Fashion Nova, you could basically take this off, which is what it came with. Create your own tag for your boutique, and there's like a little machine you just like clip it on so I think I might do that because this tag is ugly on top of that it is in Chinese if you can see that so it's just like my customers aren't gonna be able to read that so most likely I will be taking these off but this is the first thing that I picked up it's like this little crop top thing and it should crisscross like you know across your titty area right here I'm definitely not trying this on for y'all because like I said I thought it was gonna come like already strung up for you and it doesn't they just did the first loop and then leave, left the string on the side for you to do it I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on Instagram before because that's where I saw it That's why I decided to get it. It looks like it's it looks very trendy right now I see a lot of people wearing these in different different colors. So that's why I decided maybe I would try this out for my boutique So yeah, this is the first one um, and like I said, I got everything in different, different, like small, medium, large, small, medium, large. So this is literally the same thing. And then there's this one. So this is like a, um, oh, this material, by the way, on the crop top, it's like a, a cotton, like a cotton cloth material. I really like that. So what is this? This is a size medium. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these on Instagram too. They're like little body suits. I guess you could say I don't think I expected that so this is like a spandexy material kind of like the same material they used to make like bikinis 
and this is unexpected for me because I thought that this material was gonna be kind of like the crop top like a soft cotton material but it's not it's kind of like a a spandexy thing but it's still cute I think it is I think it's actually better that it's a spandexy material because I'm not thick but for my thick girls um this would probably be better especially if you have like a big butt and like thick thighs because this way the uh the material will stretch like when you put it on if it was cotton it would be pretty firm and like stiff so i guess it is better that they made it in this material but in the picture which i will insert i don't know why to me maybe it's just me i just kind of thought it was going to be a cotton but anyway so then it is ruched in the like butt area as you can see right here and i love when stuff is like ruched because <laughs> I don't really have a booty, y'all. I got a little something something back there, but not like a badonka donk. Like my sister got a donk. But I like when stuff are ruched because it kind of like accentuates your booty. So if you don't got a booty, it'll give you a booty. So I love that this is ruched. So this is ruched in the booty area. And then it's ruched on the side from the armpit all the way down. So yeah, this is this. And like I said, I got these in a bunch of different um sizes so i can see how all the different sizes look and also like when i start my boutique i want to sell to everybody so i want to be able to have different variety of size and i got this in two colors so that was the blue um i also got the pink one this one's a size medium too but i also got the pink one and it's the same spandexy material this pink is actually really bright so it's kind of like a tie-dye thing and if you could see like right here i don't know if you can see it on camera the pink looks like a little lighter there but for the most part it's like this bright bright pink i didn't think it was this bright but it's still super cute so yeah this is it it's literally the same as the other one and i don't know if i showed you guys this it has a zipper in the front all the way up to the neck area so you can zip it all the way up or zip it all the way down but these are super cute i can't wait to try these on i can't wait to have my friends try these on or my family so I could just I just need to see it on different body types you know what I'm saying so there's that this is the same thing like I said I got the same thing in multiple different sizes this is the same top top that I showed you guys first so all of this is the same yeah all of these are the same, same. damn how many of these did I get one two whoa one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got way too many. I'm, I need to go check my order. That's another thing. Like, this vendor, usually you buy stuff. There should be a paper on the top with everything you order. So, I'm about to... I, I don't feel like getting up. So, probably when I'm done filming this video, I'm going to get my phone or my laptop to check this order because I don't remember ordering so many of these. Like, look, this is the same crop top. It's literally the same thing over and over again. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely don't think I ordered this many. Look, at, it's all the same. I don't think I ordered this many of this. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Y'all see this? Like, I did not order that many. Okay, so that's all of that. So anyway, remember I told you guys I was like torn between bikini and clothes. So I did get some samples of bikinis as well well so this is these don't even have a name i guess like you name them yourself since it's from a wholesaler i don't know but this one's size medium and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on instagram too like i said i'll insert a picture here i don't feel like getting up to trying stuff on is that my phone but this is just a triangle tiger stripe bikini and i got the color orange because i feel like it looked good on my little mel melanin queens like this will look good on y'all skin so that's why i got the orange because i was thinking about myself too like i feel like orange like it'll look good on my skin tone when i try them on and then this is the bottom these are kind of like a high rise like um like a hip type of thing like it comes up all by all the way by your hip i'll insert the picture so you guys will see how it looks but i got that one and i actually got it in two colors let me seal that back up so I got that and then I got the green one. So let me show y'all how that looks. So this is the bottom. This is the back part of the bikini and this is the front. Now I'm kind of worried about this. I hate when like 
this is too skinny so i am i'm definitely gonna try all these on i hate when this is too skinny because it's just like like y'all ever see these girls on instagram with this much of a bikini like girl how is your coochie lip not like mm, mm, like how is one not falling out like i don't get how you fit your coochie in here so i need to try this on because if this is like small for me i could only imagine for like bigger girls so like thicker girls so mm -mm, i need to try that on but this is the top this is super cute i can't wait to try these on and let me know in the comments if you guys like these or not like i said these are samples so if i don't like them i need to either you know send them back and get something else so y'all let me know because i'm not trying to put ugly stuff on my website and then nobody's gonna buy it guys <laughs> nobody's gonna buy it but anyway so that's that and like i said i got them in like different different sizes so these are all the same what and i guess that's it yeah i guess that's all i got all all that's left in there is the bikinis in uh the same two colors but different sizes um like i said i placed multiple orders but this is the first one that came if you guys want to know where i'm ordering from i don't want to be like I, I promise you i'm not going to be one of those secretive like business people i'm definitely going to share all my tips and tricks as i learn and like make mistakes and go on i'm definitely gonna um update you guys and teach you what i'm learning just in case anybody else is thinking about opening up a business because i've been watching youtube videos and some of them are not really like informative and i feel like it's just because people don't want to share their vendors or share like their little tips and tricks because i don't know they just don't want to help each other out but i just feel like the world is big there's enough money to be made like why can't you share but so yeah um if you guys want to know where i ordered this stuff from i ordered everything from the website this website called wholesale 7 i didn't just order from them though i ordered from multiple different websites so as my court orders come in i'll tell you guys where i got everything from this first batch was from wholesale 7 i have two order order two other ugh, why i can't talk today i have two other orders actually coming in from them and then i ordered some stuff from alibaba so if for those who don't know what alibaba is alibaba is like the bigger version i guess of aliexpress so if you shop on aliexpress basically you're getting the same it's the same stuff on alibaba it's just that alibaba is more so for like wholesale and you can find many many different like vendors on alibaba so i have some stuff coming from alibaba so i'll share the sometimes it is hard to find specific vendors so i'll share the vendors that i've been talking with if you guys want to use them as well so but yeah guys please please any any advice any um i don't even know any tips and tricks any guys you want to tell me is greatly appreciated so please 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 comment like i said like i'm investing my time and money into this so i'm just scared i hope you know this works out so send me your comments send me your love send me what you guys want to see on my website do you think i should just do bikinis do you think i should do clothes accessories bags like let me know what you guys think is trending that I should try that you think would sell. Like, let me know. And for the next one, I won't be lazy. Like, my next order, which I think is, like, crop tops and purses, I think is what I have coming in. And, like, I have a lot, lot, I have a lot of bikinis coming in. Because, like I said, I was considering just doing, like, a bikini bar. So, I have a lot, a lot of bikinis coming in. So, for my next um, inventory reveal, I guess, I will definitely get my ass up and not be lazy and try on the things for you guys but until then don't forget to share all your thoughts with me in the comments i do reply to all comments um follow me on all my social medias at tamara blair and i'll see you guys in my next one peace